Hello friends, I'm Jeff Hansel here for News Now, and we're standing in front of the Bakehouse in Christian Square, where Michael is gonna show us how to make mousse au chocolat. That's chocolate mousse to you and me, neighbor. Let's check it out. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Bakehouse, and today we're going to make chocolate mousse. The first part of a chocolate mousse is the pate bamba. It's basically um, a hot sugar mixture poured into egg yolks while they whip, and it stabilizes them, cooks them, and then makes a nice velvety base to your chocolate mousse. After that, you combine melted chocolate. Um, the better chocolate, the better the mousse. Uh, we use Calibo 811 for most of our stuff. I have a couple things I use a darker version for, but this, it's dark enough and gives you um, a nice mouthfeel. So the first thing we do is finish melting my chocolate. It can be done in hot water, it can be done um, in a microwave. I started in the hot water, I'm gonna finish the microwave because it's as melted. I'm just gonna leave it in here to keep it warm while I go on to the next step. So the next thing I've got is, um, you've got my recipe, so I, I believe it's, um, 12 ounces of sugar. And uh, I'm just putting it in, so I'm gonna make a, uh, a sugar syrup out of it. with sugar so that you can make a nice light emulsion and cook the eggs. It's a call it's called a pate a bomba. So step two, making mousse. We've got melted chocolate. Again, best chocolate you want. You can do this with white chocolate, you can do it with milk chocolate, you can do it with dark chocolate. Um, your sweetness is gonna hear the chocolate. So if you like something darker, use something darker. We use this is um the chocolate used to 811 is actually a, um, it's considered a dark chocolate, but it's just on the verge of being dark from, from a semi-sweet. But you do want a good chocolate. I, I love a good bar made in Pennsylvania. Um, probably not the chocolate for this. You definitely need a, a coverture chocolate. Um, now we know from our recipe that we need 32 ounces of heavy cream. Uh, this is where it does come in handy to have a bakery and have two mixers because we're gonna whip this separately. The thing about whipped cream is you don't want to over whip it, and you can always finish this by hand. But I'm not working very hard right now. So now all we're going to do now is take, and again I'm a big fan of using my whisk that I have, is take the chocolate and add the chocolate to this, and then we're going to add the whipped cream, and we're going to fold it all together, and then we're going to dump it in this single serving bowl here. and. Um, and it looks like a mess for a minute, and that's okay. It kind of deflates. It does have to be completely incorporated right now. Because we're gonna keep mixing it. When we add the cream. And we're gonna do the cream in stages. So this is kind of, the sacrificial stage where we kind of get it all blended up together. It lightens up the mousse so it's much lighter in color now. And then we'll add in second, third. We're going to fold a little more gently because we just want it to be. Um, want to fold it so that you keep some of the air because that's where you're going to get your lightness. I wouldn't obsess about getting every little fleck of white because if you do, you're gonna overwork it and you don't need to. And you are the master of your own news, so make it how you like it. And that is ready. You can put this into a mold, you can dump it onto a cake, you can actually put it in a bowl like we're going to do, refrigerate it, and it's that easy.
Well, that's it from the bakehouse where Michael Gaddis has shown us how to make chocolate. How many can I have like more You can. All right. That's it for news now. Enjoy the chocolate mousse at Bakehouse.